Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of how to paint metal flake. We're gonna tape up these parts, get them ready for the candy paint and the shading, and then I'll spray some clear on it when I'm all done with this, and I'll, I'll show you some pictures of it uh, finished. I ran out of storage on my camera today while I was filming this, so I'm going to show you some videos of the taping process and talk you through some of that, and then it'll it will probably be followed up by some pictures uh, photographs and maybe a short video clip of the finished paint job. So let's let's check it out. We've got the dash bolted into place before I start the taping. Got my other pieces wiped down with wax and grease remover. My tape ready to go. Some struts and gas caps. I've got the tank and dash ready. These are some of the tapes I'll be using. I like to use the FBS brand fine line tape. I get this off of Paint Huffer website. Painthuffer.bigcartel.com I think is how it how it is, but this is really good tape. It's vinyl uh, tape, stretches well, sticks really good. It doesn't lift in the corners if you bend a tight corner it, it tends to stick down and stay uh, this is your your typical 3m vinyl tape this is in a quarter inch so i've got some eighth inch uh, fbs tape here i've got a roll of quarter inch 3m vinyl tape uh, it's pretty good uh, it's almost as good as the fbs you can usually get this locally at your O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, uh, places like that. Uh, we'll usually carry this stuff if you ask for it. It's not going to be on the shelf. Uh, they'll, they'll keep it in the back if they've got it. Uh, the FBS, like I say, I, I order that from Paint Huffer. And then I've got just a roll of three quarter inch, and uh, I usually have two inch tape. This is like a, a one and three quarter inch. Um, not sure why I grabbed that. I thought it was a two inch, but uh, it's a wider tape. If you need to cover a larger area quick, that usually is your best bet. If you're not gonna paper it, uh, get some wide tape. I'm getting there, I'm laying down some tape, and you know, sometimes you get to a point and you just don't don't like some of the stuff. You know, don't commit, uh, don't be afraid of untaping it. It's just tape. I'm gonna I'm gonna do away with this this flat line here. I just don't like it. It's not flowing good. So I'm gonna bring this line uh, to a nice curve. You know, make me a nice little teardrop on the side, and uh, separate the two panels. You know, I'm gonna have this line still uh, separating the front and the back of that of that side teardrop panel. I'll do some panels inside of a panel or something there to, to fancy it back up. So here I've already pulled the tape back off and I'm going to go ahead and retake that again. That should give me a little bit more room for the Harley Davidson uh, logo there, the, the script that I'm going to put on the side there. I just didn't leave myself enough room. I had to open that up a little bit. I think it flows better too without the abrupt sharp line there at the bottom. It just wasn't a good idea. And you know, not all your ideas are good ideas, but if you, if you stay open to, to new ideas, uh, it'll turn out okay. I'm not even sure about the scroll on top, but I don't do many of these scrolls and they always come out better than I think they're going to in the end. So uh, I think I'm going to keep that and we'll see what happens.
this part. Let's go ahead and outline this top surface. We'll start the rear fender. I'm going to try to start with a three quarter inch tape and use this as a guide to stand off of these edges here. Stand off the corners rather. Gives me a good, a good parallel line to work off of. And there's two good parallel lines to work off of. Now I can start outlining the main panels. where the parts will be on the motorcycle. If he's running a solo seat, you know the seat will stop at this bolt. If he's running a two passenger seat, you know the seat will stop at this bolt. I believe he's running a solo seat, so I'll try to make sure that I decorate the fender at least up until here. Also, the license plate will mount on these three bolts, so you know you have a big license plate covering up this area. So you really don't want to do anything spectacular here, it's going to be hidden anyway. I'm looking for a place to stop and start my panels, so I would like for that to be seen. If the license plate were here, my panel would end right about here. I'm going to use some masking tape as a guide and I'm going to pick a place where I think the separation will be seen and the bikes together. I'm just going to pick that spot. It's as good as any. Don't overthink it. Make turn. Turn. Make sure both of your radiuses are similar. They don't have to be exact, don't overthink it. Let's 
start here. Move my way back up. Nice little radius. Follow my tape for a nice even line and my radius. And follow the tape. I'm just going to let this. Thanks for sticking around again everybody for part two. I'm going to post another video soon of the root beer and pagan gold set that I have here. Everybody wants to see that color so I'll be following up with that one again. And being as I missed out on a lot of the spraying of the paint and candy on this one, I'll concentrate more on that for the next video of the root beer and gold. I'll kind of start it off with it taped up. Uh, due to my video storage, that's about all I can do is, is what I did here in this video today. I hope you guys can, uh, I hope this, this helps you guys out and you guys enjoyed it. So uh, don't forget to like, please like below, share with your friends, and it helps me out a lot. I appreciate you guys.